Um, thanks so much for uh, jumping in today to the Hedera Engineering Insights webinar. My name is Brady. I'm on the product marketing team at Hedera Hashgraph. And today we're joined by uh, Simi Hunjin, uh, developer advocate, and uh, Donald Thibault, director of product management at Hedera. And today they're going to be sharing with us uh, information about uh, Hedera improvement proposals, which are ways for uh, the community to contribute to the code base and make improvements at Hedera. Uh, entity memos, uh, testing uh, the upcoming uh, and popular feature scheduled transactions, account balance file updates that uh, many folks likely received an email for if you're uh, registered on the testnet. Um, uh, migration of protobufs to a new repo and uh, a demo of how to sign multi-sig transactions for any type of transactions that allows for multi-signature. Uh, as always, there's going to be a Q&A at the end of the session, so please drop your questions as you think of them in the QA box uh, at the bottom of the Zoom platform, and we'll be sure to answer your question to the best of our abilities at the end of the webinar. If we don't know the answer, uh, we will figure out an answer and email you afterwards. Um, and with that said, I'm going to pass things over to Donald and Simi. Awesome. Thank you, Brady. Uh, well, good morning, good afternoon, wherever in the world you might be. Um, we're very excited about some of the news I'm sure many of you have seen around our, our newest council member, EDF, out of France. But uh, luckily, on this webinar, we'll get to continue some of the good news, talking about some new opportunities to engage as a developer with Hedera and in the ecosystem as a whole. Um, so one of the things we've done recently is to really begin reinvigorating our Hedera improvement proposals process. So this process is the best way that community members can both submit improvements, ideas, or code to the core Hedera network. You could, for instance, write a Hedera improvement proposal on a new service or a new transaction type, or say you want to just have a standardized way to create an NFT, you can do that as well. So these Hedera improvement proposals are really a standard template which you can fill out for your idea. Not only can it help contribute to the core network itself, but can also be an idea for an application or a project on top of the network. Our hope is that this is going to come from a diverse set of community members and really be the driving force of our roadmap going forward. Not only that, but as we move forward, as council members or other sources identify potential roadmap priorities, product improvements, or ideas, we would create Hedera improvement proposals or work with the source to create a Hedera improvement proposal so that eventually everything in the roadmap can be tied back to these HIPs and to the community of people that are reviewing, commenting, and providing feedback on these HIPs. We, for instance, would take a HIP, one that's been endorsed by the community, and actually put it into our roadmap that then gets approved by TechCom. So we'll see decentralization along every step of that process for community ideas and improvements to the Hedera network. Now, we've already got an initial set of HIPs, which we were really excited about, some we didn't even know were coming. These are things like standardized metadata schemes for the memo field for non-fungible tokens from Sam and the team at Luther Systems, as well as another in proposal from Lucas and the team at Suku around EVM compatibility in layer two over the Hedera consensus service. So we expect these HIPs again to be a very wide range of projects and we're supportive of as many of them uh, coming to fruition as possible. How the process works after you submit your HIP is it would be reviewed for formatting by myself and a few other team members. And then it would go into this repository where it can be reviewed and commented on by different uh, community members. So you can see both the original HIP, which had the proposal for the process, as well as HIP10, which is centered around NFT metadata schemas. If you're interested in participating in the process of vetting, commenting, and prioritizing these HIPs, we'd encourage you to watch this repository and engage in the repository, it's its repository itself for comments, questions, as well as potential improvements for these HIPs. 
We also hope that some of the members going forward who create HIPS are actually going to be presenting on these webinars. So we'll start to use this webinar as well as a forum for having some of that discussion and for having some of the HIP creators present their idea and the source behind it. Last but not least, in terms of how we support or, or use these HIPs, as I mentioned, if they're part of the core network or things like our SDKs, we might incorporate it into the Hedera roadmap that we and our partners execute on. But the HIPs can also be a great channel to promote your project more widely and potentially do things like receive grant funding or additional support for your project. So again, whether you want to make a core contribution, whether you've just got the start of an idea of an improvement, the HIP process is really something that we think is going to accelerate that project in the community in a decentralized way and get at the attention and potentially things like grant funding that it may need. So with that, I'm now going to jump into some of our more regular updates, giving you a few updates and insights into some of the coming roadmap changes. So as many of you know, we updated the Hedera public testnet last week. And this had a lot of new features and capabilities, um, especially like adding to the token service, scheduled transactions, and a few others I'll talk about now. Just from a timing perspective, uh, the public testnet, as I mentioned, was updated this past Friday, and the mainnet will be updated a week from this coming Friday with the same code that you see here tagged as a version 0.12.0. Now, I'll mention a few of the enhancements specifically, again, all of which you can see yourself in the release notes in our open source repository. First, I'll mention scheduled transactions. This is a feature we're very excited about to support ease of multi-sig transactions at a future time on the network. So you could have, for instance, three of three signers signing via scheduled transactions for a crypto transfer. Now, currently this is in MVP, which means it's available on the preview net, but not yet on the public test net or main net. But we very much encourage you to give that a try on the preview net using the SDKs as well as mirror node, uh, which can support that MVP. One of the features that is uh, fully there, in addition to returning things like decimal places for token balance, are memo fields on more network entities. So we've added the memo field for a file, an account, and a token. Now, what these memo fields can do is give a developer or an application an additional field that can be used to say, add a unique identifier, add a did method, or add a metadata reference for any of these components. So for instance, on a token entity, you could create a token and add that unique identifier or did to that tokens memo to have it connect to some digital collectible or maybe the ID of a real world good. So this can be great for having traceability and transparency in say non-fungible tokens issued with the Hedera token service or via connecting it to a decentralized identity method, again, did. And you'll see some more content coming out soon showcasing how that can work. Now, in addition to the memo field, um, we've also exported a new account balances file. This helps standardize the template for the file, including balances of both HBAR as well as Hedera token service tokens on an account. Right now, we've got both the old version and the new version available, but the plan eventually is to migrate fully to the new version. So we'd really encourage you uh, to start this migration if you use the account balance file as soon as possible. Now I'll jump over to the mirror node. So in addition to supporting many of those different um, transactions and capabilities like scheduled transactions and the account balance file as well, uh, we also added some new APIs to support them. So things like getting the scheduled transaction or querying based on the ID of the scheduled transaction. This also adds support for things like the memo field across all of the entities, like I mentioned. So it should surface in your Hedera mirror node. And we also updated the Google Marketplace listing for the Hedera mirror node. 
So if you want to spin up your own mirror node in Google Cloud, you can go to the Google Cloud Marketplace today and get the latest version of the code and connect it to the main net. And again, all of this content for the mirror node is in our mirror node open source repo, and you can see all of the release notes uh, for each release. So now with that, I'm going to pass it over to Simi, um, who's going to talk through some of the changes you'll see in the repo for our protobuf, as well as a really cool new sample that she and the team have been working on in documentation. So Simi, I'll let you take it from there. Thanks, Donald. Hey, everyone. I'm Simi, and I work on, in product. Um, one of the things that I wanted to cover was the migration of the Hedera protobufs from the Hedera services repo to its own repo. So in the past, you may have seen, um, I think it was maybe happy-protos um, or a file name, something like that contained within the Hedera services repo. We have now moved um, those protobufs to its own repository. And um, this is called the Hedera protobufs. This is the single source of truth for all of our um, network and mirror node protobufs. Um, and as you can see here, uh, we will have additional protobufs that are specific, uh, protobuf repositories that are specific to each language. So right now we have um, Java listed, and if you click on it, it will take you to the Hedera protobufs Java repository if you're using it in a Java project. And we'll continue to add um, other languages um, as we build out those repositories. And with the services repo, um, this main um, Hedera protobufs repository is now added as a dependency. Um, so that's the update there with the migration of the Hedera protobufs to its own repository. The other thing I just wanted to touch on is there is a sample available on the doc side of how to sign a multi-signature transaction. Um, it goes from the creation of a transaction just as an example, but you can really use this for any transaction type on the Hedera network that has a key set up for uh, multi-signature transactions. Um, talks about how you can go about collecting the required signatures um, and then collating the, all the signatures to a single transaction to uh, get ready for it to be submitted to the network. You can verify uh, who signed the transaction. And then the last step is submitting that collated transaction to the network. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to comment on is we use um, Gitbook as our docs platform. However, it is tied to a uh, Hedera docs repository. So everything that you see here um, is translated to this Hedera docs repo. So if you have any suggestions, comments, feedbacks, PRs, um, you're more than welcome to engage um, on the Hedera, uh, the Hedera, repos Hedera docs repository itself. And I think that's the last thing that I wanted to cover. I'll hand it back over to uh, Brady. Thanks so much, Simi. Thanks, Donald. Um, so it looks like we haven't had any questions that have come through in the Q&A box. If there's uh, any questions that people have or any comments, um, feel free to drop them in now. We're happy to discuss with you. This is supposed to be sort of an open forum between Hedera and the developer community. Maybe while we wait, I'll also mention, um, you may have seen some new channels in our Discord. Uh, so we added one, for instance, focused around Hedera improvement proposals. Um, so this is a place where you can potentially see the latest proposals coming through, um, as well as get quickly to the proposals themselves in GitHub to, you know, ask your questions, provide feedback and improvements. Um, so you'll see us get more active there as well. I got a question from Jeremy around uh, the HIP program. Who actually owns the intellectual property of a, a Hedera improvement proposal? So the HIPs are open source um, and the HIPs themselves are really just specification documents. Um, I believe that there is information on licensing you can add there, uh, but all centered around it being open sourced. Um, as for what happens to the code created for the HIP, uh, it really depends based on what the project is proposing and entails. Um, our goal again is to have it be a thriving open source community as well. Um, so that's what you'll see as the model used for, you know, HIPs, which we 
make a core part of the network.